Hello, I decided I'm going to start trying to make a series of videos about anti-Wiccan arguments. By this I mean arguments that are from people who are critical of Wicca for various reasons and of various levels. Um, I'm starting with a rather easy one because I want to start with what I think Wicca is. Um, in my opinion, Wicca comes down to three things. The first being the read, which this is a really simple version of it, but I really like it. It's by the Wiccan law you must, in perfect love and perfect trust, Eight words the Wiccan read fulfill, and harm none, do as ye will. And never mind the rule of three, what you send out comes back to thee. Follow this with mind and heart, and marry you meet, and marry you part. And basically, okay, if you follow the read, then celebrate the wheel of the year. There are plenty of videos and books and Wonderful resources if you want to know more about the Wheel of the Year. And worship the God and Goddess. You don't necessarily have to focus on both equally. You can have a patron God or a patron Goddess. But you have to accept that there's a dynamic balance between the two. If you follow these three things, the reed, wheel of the ear, and the god and goddess, as far as I'm concerned, you can call yourself Wiccan. I'm not going to say a word about it. Okay, now on to my first argument I'm going to try to give my opinion on. And it's an uh, old classic one. Easy to counter. I think I've got a new way to counter it, and that's the accusation that Wiccans worship Satan. Yeah, I know, I can already hear all the Wiccans out there going, we don't even believe in Satan. But you got to understand, Christians don't really buy that because they go, it doesn't matter whether or not you believe in them. So I'm going to try to explain how... Wiccans, and indeed a lot of other pagan traditions, view deity. Uh, and I've come up with what I think is a good metaphor. Let's say this book is the universe. These bo books are separated into chapters and pages. Okay? How Wiccans view the universe is, you have the universe. Then you have a chapter, which makes up a religion. Of each of these, the pages are individual deities. And the words themselves are aspects of that deity. Um, I may not be explaining this metaphor quite right, but because, and I understand it's not a perfect metaphor and it could be tortured all to hell, but basically the concept is that here we have the Wiccan religion. Way back here we have the Christian religion. They're not even close to each other. And Satan is one of the pages of the Christian religion. So it's not that we don't believe Satan exists. 
he's just not part of our tradition. Um, the same way that you wouldn't accuse a Buddhist of worshipping Thor. And it is, and from what I understand of Buddhism, it's not that the Buddhist doesn't believe Thor exists. It's that he doesn't worship it. Is, is that at all make sense to people? Um, now, I know a lot of Christians won't accept this at all. So I have one more argument I continually ask, and I have yet to come up with a good response from Christians. Other than he would. Uh, let's just say your God is all there is. Let's say God is all-knowing, all-loving, omnipotent, can do anything. If your God wanted to talk to some some 6th century Vikings, do you think he was shown up as a Jewish carpenter? No, he was shown up as Odin, or Thor, or Baldur, or any of the other pantheon of Norse gods. And you could go any culture in the world and Let's just say that your God wanted to contact these different cultures. Wouldn't if he have appeared in a form they could understand? And I've never gotten a response on why this is impossible. Uh, all I've gotten is, well, God wouldn't do that. Well, how do you know God? your God wouldn't do that? Well, that um, about wraps this video up because I'm over the seven minute mark. Um, if, if you've got, if you've heard other comments that are critical of Wicca, go ahead and leave a comment below and if, or if you even have criticisms of Wicca, feel free to leave them. I'll, I'll try to get around and make a video about whatever comments you want to leave. Um, with a few exceptions, I will make it a guideline that I won't answer atheist questions, just simply because there's no way to objectively prove a religion. Uh, God exist. It just can't be done. And I won't answer any questions quote from quotes from the Bible, the Quran, or any other holy book. Um, those belong to your God. Those belong to your chapter of your of the book. Uh, other than that, go right ahead. Uh, if I don't have an answer, I will respond and say, I, don't, I can't answer that one. Uh, and these, so I better wrap this up. Thank you and blessed be.